Hey guys, long time no see. It has been kind of a while, sorry, I've been pretty busy this semester, but um, nonetheless, I have a good video which a bunch of you guys have been asking for, so without further ado, let's jump right back into things. Also, what do you guys think of my beard? Anyway, so here we are back in our game. Uh, we're right where we left off, and with the first person camera in mind, the first thing we actually want to do is disable this main camera because we do not want to use that camera. We want to use a camera attached to the player. So let's go ahead and put a camera on our player. We just go here and camera. Perfect. And then if we want to, we can rename this to first person camera. I'll call it entity camera like that and while we're here let's change the camera so it doesn't look so ugly um, move it back maybe a little bit up kind of maybe a little bit to the side okay so you get the point that's kind of the gun barrel that's good enough again you guys can make it look good but for now you get the idea and now we only want this camera to turn on if you are the player controlling it. In other words, if you own this entity, if you're the entity that is owner, we want the camera to be on. So let's actually turn this off for now, even though that feels weird. And then on the cube itself, we need a script to turn that camera on when we join the game. Um, we have a couple scripts already. If you want, you can make a new one. But it looks like we have one called player joined, and that is good enough for me. So let's go ahead and open that up. And the first thing we'll need is a reference to our camera. So we'll type in public camera. Again, you can call this whatever. I'll call it entity camera, just like that. And then in the attached function, which is called when a player loads in, uh, we just want to uh, turn the camera on if the player owns it. So that is pretty easy if entity dot is owner and for some reason, um, as of right now, the recording of this video, January 2020, Bolt has gone back to not liking this capital is owner. I don't know why I used to do that, but as of now, you do lowercase and it should work fine. As for the code itself, that should be pretty easy. I know I say that a lot, but this time it's just entity camera dot game object dot set active true. Simple. And if you're wondering why we did not just make this a game object and then just say entity camera that said active true like that, it is because I like to keep my variables kind of clear. So I don't know, you can if you want to, but if we ever need to reference the camera, um, I just like having it like that and it's not too hard. So anyhow, do what you will, that's why. So now if we save this and head back into Unity, we just need to connect this camera to the reference we just gave it. So just drag, whoops, drag entity camera right there. And then we can actually head into our scene and it should work. Let's go ahead, host game. It'll tell you there's no cameras rendering because we haven't yet loaded in. But when we do load in, there we are. You can see we're moving because that's our ratchet move animation. And there's our shooting. That looks kind of bad, but again, you guys get the idea. We're moving. Hooray! I'm just going to add some objects really quick to make it even more obvious that we're moving. So I'll be right back when I have finished with that. Okay, I added in some obstacles. So now I'm going to build and run, and hopefully we'll be able to see each other moving from our own little player. And guys, after a quick test, this did not work. Um, I think it's because... When the player first loads in, maybe the cube hasn't been instantiated yet, so this camera isn't set active. It's set active too early before the player fully loads in. Um, I'm not fully sure, but we can actually comment that out. And I did some testing off camera, and I figured out that this code conceptually is still correct. We just need to call it, we just need to make sure the client has loaded the cube by the time this code is called. And we can actually kind of do a cheeky workaround by making just a, uh, just make a private void update function. And we're gonna do pretty similar code to this, but we're gonna say if entity dot is owner, lowercase for some reason, 
and and this is where we say um, entity camera dot active in hierarchy whoops dot game object dot active in hierarchy so that means in the inspector if it's set active or not we want to see if the entity is the owner and the camera is um, not set active in the hierarchy then we want to set the camera true so um, with that code now in place let's go see if that works okay so I just built and run the code as you can see on the editor it's working and that's because we're hosting from the editor and it was already working but the moment of truth let's see if the client will find it let me just wait for the server button to appear and click that and yay, it looks like it did indeed work. And now if I can find myself, there I am, woo. So as you can see, I believe we have first person movement. Hooray. And one more thing I wanna mention before I end this video is, bam, check that out. Um, this is pretty much the inspiration for Photon Bolt, why I started making videos. Uh, me and a buddy wanted to make a multiplayer game and get it onto the phone, and that's exactly what we did. So if you're interested at all, I would uh, really appreciate it if you could check it out. Hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys can make something like this one day yourselves too. But yeah, that pretty much covers it for this video, guys. Um, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed, and leave a comment for any future videos. And before I go, I just want to wish each and every one of you a very happy new decade. <laughs> hope you make the best of it, and I'll see you in the next video.